to left. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so first we'll have Guy Lonzo from the Conservative Party. Thank you very much. Uh, bon après-midi, mesdames et messieurs. C'est un vrai plaisir d'être ici uh, parmi vous cet après-midi. Uh, la plupart de mes commentaires, je vais, je vais les faire en anglais. Uh, mais si vous avez des questions uh, à me poser en français, je suis prêt à répondre des deux langues officielles. Uh, as uh, our moderator said, I'm uh, representing the Conservative Party of Canada. Uh, very proudly, I've been a member of the Conservative Party of Canada. Uh, I've been a member of Parliament actually since June of 2004. Uh, I was given the privilege and the honor of being a, a member of Parliament uh, by the constituents of Stormont, Dundas, and South Glengarry. And uh, one of the, uh, one of the uh, revelations of becoming a member of Parliament, I realized that we had a significant immigration uh, population in Cornwall particularly in Cornwall and some to a, to a lesser degree outside of Cornwall. And uh, a very vibrant, in many cases, uh, immigrant community, new Canadians uh, that had recently arrived into Canada. And uh, so I, uh, through, through uh, being a member of Parliament and uh, through befriending some of the uh, recent arrivals and some that had been around for quite some time, we were able to develop some, some relationships and uh, over the years, what we've been able to do uh, is, uh, is get together. I've tried to foster a relationship, and, and quite frankly, this, is, uh, this supersedes uh, partisanship or politics. And, and uh, just on Sunday, we had a, 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 just a meal of immigrants and non-immigrants. And we try to bring the both communities together and uh, some of the uh, some of uh, my colleagues were there, and I, I think that's what we want to do. Canada, the, Canada is a country of immigration. Canada was built on immigration. We need immigrants. That's how we survive. That's how we were built. And if we're going to continue to grow, immigrants are our greatest economic strength. We need to bring more immigrants into Canada. As a matter of fact, our conservative government has brought more immigrants into Canada than any government in the history of this great country. Uh, we welcome the highest levels of immigration uh, in 70 years. Uh, we're, when we took power in 2006, uh, there were 900,000, over 900,000 people on a waiting list to immigrate to Canada. And we've worked hard at that uh, under the, uh, particularly of late under the uh, tutelage of uh, Jason Kennedy, our Minister of Immigration, and we've got that down to a little over 600,000. And what was happening is some of the more qualified, the more deserving immigrants were caught in the queue. And we're trying to eliminate that through, uh, through a number of things. Uh, one of the things, some of the things that we've managed to do in the last five years is increase the protection for caregivers and nannies. You've all heard the horror stories of what's happened to some caregivers and nannies, especially in the larger communities. And we've, uh, we've introduced legislation to prevent that. Uh, we've cracked down severely on crooked immigration consultants. I don't know if any of you have experienced the immigration consultants who victimize people who want to uh, flee their country of origin and come to our great Canada, country of Canada. Uh, we've introduced measures to prevent human smuggling. Uh, we're having some difficulty because of a mi minority government situation of making those, uh, those laws as, as strict and as severe as we think they should be, uh, but hopefully in the, in the future that will come to pass. Uh, of course, we've responded quickly to humanitarian uh, issues around the world, such as Haiti and the Philippines, etc. So all that to say that we depend on immigration. And one of the other things is, is that, especially for professionals, you see, our economy, the success of our economy, depends on immigration. We are not replacing ourselves. Our birth rate, Canadians, the natural born Canadians, birth rate is not high enough to sustain itself. So we need immigration to keep growing our economy. And uh, we depend on, on skilled workforce and on an educated workforce. One of the things we've done to encourage immigration is to cut the, uh, the uh, landing fee 
the rate of landing fee from $1,000 to $500. Well, if you're immigrating with a family of four, that saves you $2,000. And as you probably know better than I do, uh, when you're coming to this country, $2,000 is a considerable amount of money for a family. So we're trying to do a whole vast array of things to try to make immigration to this country for the right immigrants. Not people who want to jump, not people who want to pay human smugglers uh, to come to this country, but people who deserve to come to country, to Canada, and want to come to Canada and be a contributing citizen. We want to welcome them, and we're, we've done a number of things in the last five years, but we want to do even more. And with your cooperation, in the event that we should succeed in getting a, a majority government, I think you can be prepared to expect a heck of a lot more being done for immigration. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Um, now we'll have Mario Leclerc from the New Democrat Party. Bonjour tout le monde. Je suis Guilaine. Si vous avez des questions tout à l'heure en français, je ne vous pas. Ça va me faire plaisir, un grand plaisir de répondre. Merci de m'avoir invité. I'm going to start uh, talking about the um, um, why you should elect the NDP uh, MP in this writing. First of all, um, I'm uh, 40, 47 years old. I've uh, been in public office for public life for for quite some time, for 21 years. I uh, was elected on the Ontario Criminal and Jury Compensation Board in 07 to 09 by the Premier's office, uh, Dalton McGinty. I was also involved with the TV Ontario TFO Advisory Board, as I served on this board for, from 96 to 99. I was uh, elected uh, school board trustee twice. Um, from uh, Anyway, it was two, term, two terms of three years then. And um, I'm also involved in local 621 CIU where I work. I work at Service Canada for, for a few years there. And um, basically, um, what I want to do with the rest of my life, hopefully, it can last uh, you know in the next 20 years. I want to dedicate my life to public life. So that's what I'm offering. And basically, the uh, second um, uh, part of the formula is we have. Uh, a leader, a national leader, Jack Layton, that we can trust. He's the most popular leader in the in, 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 in the nation as we speak. And uh, the NDP is doing pretty well in the Quebec, or second. And third, we have a platform. I'm sure that would um, that would make you you know interesting in seeing what we are offering for you in terms of uh, CPP. We want to reform the CPP. From, we want to doubling up to, to uh, <clears throat> over seven years. Um, at the moment, we have the maximum is set at eleven thousand dollars, and uh, mind you, the average is about sixty-five hundred. We want to increase it over seven years to uh, thirteen. Uh, will be basically for the average, uh, uh, the ordinary people there, thirteen thousand. Uh, it's still at that level. It's not the uh, uh, you know it's under the poverty line or threshold, and we want to reform the EI as well uh, from. Uh, 55% to 60%. We want to scrap the two weeks period, uh, waiting period. Um, we want to <coughs> extend uh, compassionate benefit from six weeks to six months uh, for up to. Um, we also, we have a plan uh, for the local economy. What we want to do is uh, for the small, that's just, this is our NDP economic plan. We want to decrease the small business tax from 11% to 9%. Uh, we want to uh, give them uh, a break on CPPEI contribution. That may affect some of you that are doing business in, 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 in this town. And we want to uh, give them a, a waived CPPEI. We also want to give, uh, for new hire, 4,500 um, um, tax credit towards, that's what we call our plan tax, cre uh, tax creation. And uh, as far as the, uh, the specific issue uh, that, that you're invited me about, uh, <coughs> Immigration is increasingly replacing birth rate as the means uh, to a sustainable uh, population growth in Canada. Cornwall's economy has been supported by years of immigration, with new Canadians moving here, establishing businesses and hiring, uh, hiring harbors. In spite of this, the Conservative government this year withdrew the funding for the Immigration Services Agency relied on for years to support new Canadians with settlement issues. As, as a result, Immigration services had to close its door. We recognize that the CIRC does excellent work, but loss of funding, fewer funds, overall means fewer services. Clearly, means the agency can do less. We think 
this was wrong-headed. Cornwall needs immigrants, and immigrants need settlement services. We lament this loss of support. In terms of um, our goal, uh, what we want to accomplish, uh, but uh, we want to, uh, what, what, one, one issue that is uh, really important to us is the recognition of foreign credentials. Um, we want to work with the partnership with provinces and, uh, and, and with licensing authority to make sure, you know, fast tracking this. Uh, we've heard about this issue for a long time. It's about time that we tackle this issue and we resolve it once and for all. We want also to implement the, um, the NDP Once in Life uh, Time Act to allow Canadians on a one-time opportunity to sponsor a relative who is not a member of the family class to come to Canada. We want to fast track family class sponsorship from the, 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 uh, from area that has uh, unfortunately uh, experienced flood and some some of the unfortunate event that we have experienced in the, in the last few, few few months. We also want to ensure the tough laws against crook immigration consultant are enforced. Uh, this is our plan, uh, and um, I welcome any question again in uh, both languages. Thank you. Thank you, Mario Leclerc. And now.